Hi Roboticist! In this series of video we are gonna talk about voice control and in fact what we are gonna do is to create a custom controller for each joint of the cobot that we have built so far and I remember you that it is a successor robot so what we need to do is to create for each joint a controller in such a way that we have the instrument that allows us to make the robots what we want to do. Before diving into it, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell for notification when another video pop up. So now let's get into it. If you remember from the last video, uh, we have created and we have modeled our uh, cobot uh, that is an expression of uh, URDF file, or better, it is modeled in a URDF file, and we have created our chakra file where we have uh, modeled um, the link uh, for a cylinder, a box, uh, and they joint in such a way that for each um, link and joint we do not need to repeat every time so it is a, a, a manner that allows us to simplify our uh, robots then what we have done is to create a launch file that uh, allows us to spawn the robots that we have modeled and uh, we have spawned in an empty world and we have decided to spawn the robot in uh, the position 0, 0, 0 of our empty world environment then I'm gonna refresh you what happens if uh, we spawn the robot and we press play without any control. So let's try it by typing uh, ROS launch uh, Cabot uh, simulation which is gonna be the name of our package and then uh, the spawn robot launch. Okay, here we go. You can see that uh, the cobot uh, it is in a straight position where every joint is in a 0, 0, 0 regions position. And if we press uh, play, the robot uh, falls down. Why that? Well, as I already mentioned, we don't have any control in each joint. This meaning that uh, when you press play the robot uh, feels the gravity of the environment uh, and everything falls down so this is the the scope of uh, uh, this series of, of video what we need to do is to create a ROS control and before diving into it uh, i want uh, to uh, make uh, a list uh, of uh, all the activities that uh, we are gonna cover in such a way that we have a good track of uh, what we are doing so here we go this is a list of uh, what we need to do for creating a ROS control for any kind of robots that we want to model so first you need to create a transmission for each joint then you're gonna need a gazebo plugin that helps you to interact your ROS package with gazebo because you need to make them talk to each other. Then you're gonna create a YAM file for every joint in order to control, which is like imagine that is 
um, configuration file that describes uh, which kind of uh, uh, controller you want to put uh, in each joint. Then you need uh, to create uh, a launch file to spawn not only your robots that you have modeled but also the configuration of your joints. And in the configuration file we are going to put a um, PID control that uh, is not uh, that are not uh, tuned so the last step that we need to do is uh, to tune the um, bit control which stands for uh, proportional integer and derivative control for each joint and we are gonna use RQT reconfig GUI for tweaking those values Okay, now you should have a good understanding of uh, uh, what will be our pathway uh, to uh, create uh, our first was control. Then we're gonna start with the transmission. Before to create uh, our uh, transmission tag for each joint, uh, what we need to do is uh, to add uh, some dependencies uh, that are needed for our was control uh, package. So uh, what we need to do is to add uh, to the CMake list uh, the dependencies uh, controller manager, uh, John state controller and the robot state controller. And uh, as you are imagining, uh, you have uh, to add uh, the same dependencies in uh, your uh, package uh, um, file. So we need to create your build depends, the build export depends and exact depend for the dependencies that I already talked to you. Okay, after this uh, introduction uh, we can start uh, to create uh, our uh, transmission tag and um, as a good approach uh, we are not going uh, to create uh, our transmission tag in our URDF file uh, this is because uh, we will need uh, to uh, create a transmission tag for each joint and it's gonna create a uh, um, URDF file too much complex so uh, we are gonna use the same approach that we did in the last video for the links and the joints so we're gonna create a chakra macro tag and uh, this uh, will be a transmission macro and uh, we need uh, to uh, pass uh, to these macros uh, these parameters uh, the name, the joint name that uh, we have already assigned and the actuator name okay now inside the chakra macro tag we need to actually create our uh, transmission so we need uh, to, uh, to pass it a name and this name uh, will be assigned in the URDF file and uh, this uh, transmission is uh, characterized let's say, let's say from a type that uh, is gonna be a, a transmission interface uh, which is a simple transmission uh, 
and then we need uh, uh, to, to tell uh, to the transmission uh, what will be the joint uh, that will have uh, this type of uh, a simple transmission so we need uh, the joint name that we need to assign to the URDF file Uh, then we need uh, a hardware interface and uh, for hardware interface we are going to use the effort joint interface meaning that uh, we are going to pass uh, to the controller an effort value and we are gonna convert it in a position but it's something that uh, we will cover afterwards And last, uh, we need uh, to assign to the transmission the actuator. So we need uh, an actuator name and uh, this value will be passed to the uh, URDF file as well. And in this uh, actuator that uh, often will be a motor, uh, just to uh, make you understand, uh, it will have uh, a hardware interface as well, uh, like, bef like before, and uh, will be the same, effort uh, joint uh, interface. So imagine that uh, uh, in the reality uh, we are gonna pass uh, effort uh, values uh, to the motor and then we need to select a mechanical reduction that uh, for the moment we could keep uh, one okay that's everything that uh, we need to have for our uh, transmission uh, tag for or better our transmission macro and we need uh, to uh, create or better to add to each joint a transmission so this is because you can have the best controller that you may have but if you have anything to transmit your value to the the motor itself uh, the voice controller will be useless so what we need to do is to put the transmission in each joint and we are gonna use the same approach as we did for the joint and the link so we need to type uh, chakra uh, semicolon then transmission and then we need to put as a value the parameters that we have selected in our chakra file so it's gonna be the name the joint name and the actuator name So as an example, the name will be the trans, uh, we can call it trans base link underscore underscore link one, uh, which is the transmission name of the joint uh, base link uh, link one. And we're gonna call uh, this actuator name motor base link link one, which uh, we can imagine that it will be our motor uh, that uh, is gonna be installed in between the base link and the, the, the link one. So it's the motor that is responsible to make a revolute rotation of the link one along the longitudinal axis of the base link.
and we are gonna do the same for the link one, link two. And so we put uh, uh, as a name uh, uh, trans uh, link one link two that is uh, referring uh, to the joint name uh, link one link two and the actuator name uh, will be motor link one link two. Okay, I hope that you got the point. And so now we need uh, uh, to make the same for the link 2, link 3 and so on and so forth for all the joints. And uh, we're gonna do the same for the gripper as well. Uh, so we need uh, uh, to create uh, a transmission uh, tag for uh, the TCP connector gripper right uh, as well as uh, the TCP connector gripper left. And, and we need to do the same thing for the gripper as well even if uh, uh, the TCP connector gripper right and gripper left is going to be a prismatic. Uh, why that? Well, because uh, uh, it will be in any case a motor, even if it's sliding along one link uh, instead of uh, make a revolution uh, between each other. But the concept is going to be the same. <laughs> 